Newbie reporting for duty with some big news. Season 3, Week 5 challenges finally dropped. There were a lot of problems, Sledgehammer had with dropping these things. And in fact, I'm going to whinge once. I'm going to say that the 15 operator hip fire clean kills with recommended shotguns, it showed complete three hours before the challenges even dropped. And yes, I was using a shotgun. So somewhere in the software, it was counting up what I was doing, even though the interface had not caught up with the release. Enough of that. Let's take a look at the shotgun challenges. And I break it down into shotgun challenges and marksman rifle challenges. Only two shotguns qualify to satisfy the challenges, the KV Broadside and the Lockwood 680. And the challenges are 15 hip fire clean kills, which were already completed by the time the challenges dropped. Aiming down sight with recommended shotguns, that's going to be a one shot kill. And 10 operator triple kills with recommended shotguns. And I decided to go with the Lockwood 680. Here's my configuration. The one thing that I did change was that when I was going for the 25 one-shot kills, I put in slugs. So I went from Dragon's Breath to slugs. All right, the second half of this challenge is the Marksman Challenge. And by the way, you can get the Akimbo kills with either the shotgun or the Marksman rifle. Only two qualify, the Renetti and the Stinger. So as far as Marksman Rifle Challenges... KVD Enforcer qualifies, as does the Lockwood Mark II. And since we're going to be doing some tax stance kills, I decided to go with a weapon that I can pull the trigger multiple times. That's the KVD Enforcer. And we need to get 15 operator clean kills with recommended marksman rifles. Those are kills where you haven't taken any damage beforehand. 15 tax stance kills and the KVD Enforcer, you can rig that thing up for some nice tax stance kills. And finally, 20 double kills with a marksman rifle. As I said, I used the KVD Enforcer and I made a special tax stance build. I didn't change at any time, even for the double kills. Here it is, take a shot if you like it. And Let's get on the field of honor and see how to get these things completed so that we can get the pot of gold, the jack attachment at the end. I'm updating my wanting currency one more time. This showed completed before the things even dropped. Three hours, so they delivered the guts. There's a trip kill with a shotgun. They delivered the guts of the thing before they delivered the interface, which is not unforgivable but not far from it. All right, we got the 10 triple kills. That was supposed to be the hardest. It, it didn't take very long. I switched to slugs. Now I'm going for the clean kills. I already have the hip fires done before the things even dropped. Did I whine again there? As you can see, the slugs, I wanted a little extra range. Need a clean kill. Oh, uh, that didn't help, but that did. And that will. Chasing somebody. Oh, and I'm out of slugs, but I'm going to wait right behind <laughs> until I can reload one. And I completed those. The clean kills with a shotgun, so I went for the tax stance. You can see. I think it was, what, 25 clean kills? Or one shot ADS. That's what it was. One shot ADS. So now I'm doing... The tax stance, and you can get three for one with a marksman rifle. Use the KVD Enforcer for that. You can get tax stance kills, marksman rifle. You can get double kills, marksman rifle. And you can get 15 clean kills with a marksman rifle. So there are the Akimbo. They're completed. Or no, that wasn't that. That was 25 one-shot. Sorry about that. 
and the 15 clean marksman rifles are there. There are five of them completed. I now own the Jack Wardens. I'm going to go ahead and complete the akimbos now. Just a few more kills to go because you work on the akimbos while you're doing everything else. Just make sure both classes, your shoddy class and marksman class, have these akimbo renettis or the wasp, whichever you prefer. They're completed. We just have one more to go, the most boring one, and that was the double kills. Got a bunch of them here and there while I was doing the tax stance. And there it is, everything completed. We have the Jack Wardens that goes to the Lockwood M2. You can see below the Jack Wardens it says that. Here's what the Lockwood M2 does for you. Looks like it decreases the range, but reload, empty reload, sprint to fire at 29 milliseconds. Come on. That's what it looks like. It's an Akimbo Marksman rifle. Please like and subscribe. Peace.